What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to a video on the channel. Today I'm here to give my Match Week 43 predictions for the Championship. Prediction school on the screen as always, 271 at the current moment. Hoping to add to it this Match Week, of course, these are the midweek games in the Championship. And let's waste no more time, let's get straight into it. First up we've got Blackpool at home. To West Brom. Now West Brom finally ended up getting a win against Stoke City. Jason Malumbi being the hero for them in that one. As for Blackpool, they just got a nice little 1-0 win against Wigan Athletic. Battle at the bottom. Uh, Jerry Gates with a goal in the second minute in that one. I can see Stephen Dobie's side backing up with another 1-0 win. Three points, clean sheet. Could the Great Escape be on? Maybe. But as for West Brom... I just can't see them uh, stringing back-to-back -back results, uh, three wins uh, together yet. Uh, they've been too inconsistent this season, um, especially the second half now. They still could get the playoffs, they're so not too far away from it. But for me, in this one, it's going to be another defeat for the Baggies. Rob from British Burnley is the next one to predict. Now, Burnley, of course, they will no longer be able to get a new record uh, as they were held to a 0-0 draw against Reading. In this one, tricky game. I think they will get the three points in this one, though. 2-0 to the wayside, which leaves Rotherham not in the thick of it, but they still can be caught, and it's not looking too comfy if you're a Millers fan. Sheffield United versus Bristol is the next one. Tricky game. Sheffield United to get another three points, though, and a 3-1 victory. Next up, we go to the bet 365 for Stoke as they take on Wigan Athletic. Wigan, they're basically down now, and I think Stoke will just cruise to a 4 0 victory. Hopefully, ex Jack Ben Wilmot recovers well and quickly. Uh, I know he is out to the end of the season, he has suffered a back injury. All the best to Ben Wilmot, though, and a speedy recovery. To the Stadium of Light, and it's Sunderland who take on. Huddersfield, defeat for Huddersfield against Swansea, um, Sunderland won, uh, won, won against uh, Birmingham with 10 men, Amad Diallo once again on the score sheet, in this one another win for Sunderland, 3-1, Huddersfield wasn't really impressed with them when they come to the dot com stadium, they just sat off all game and then after we scored they just tried to Nick uh, equaliser late on. Um, I don't think that'll work against Sunderland as it didn't against us as well. They can be a threat from set pieces though. Long throws, that's the only really um, threat they oppose. So for this one, Sunderland 3, Huddersfield 1. To the den and it was a massive win for Millwall against uh, promotion playoff racers. Preston last time out in this one against Birmingham. Birmingham will be fine this season. As for Millwall, I think they'll cruise to another victory and another 2 0 win at the den. Blackburn Coventry is a massive game in the race for the sixth place in the championship. Uh, for me, I'm leaning towards the Coventry win, so I'm going to say 2 1. However, Blackburn get results at the most unlikely of times, so I will not be surprised if Blackburn get the win here. Whoever wins this one, the sixth place is in their hands. Next up, the QPR versus Norwich. Really tough uh, last weekend for both sides, both losing. Norwich, what on earth was that? For QPR though, only the 3-0 to Coventry, uh, who are top sides. In this one though, I can see both sides getting a point, 1-1, bouncing back with a point, which will do more favours to QPR than Norwich. Swansea Preston next up. Now, I do fancy the Swans to get the three points here and another clean sheet. The most informed side in the league. Hopefully, I haven't just jinxed us now. Preston, marvellous side, but I do think um, the Swans can get the three points and backing us, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So, if we lose, I can only apologise. <laughs> Watford against Cardiff is the next game. Cardiff, they're only out the relegation zone on goal difference now. 
Watford, nice win against Bristol, Ro uh, Bristol Rose, Bristol City, and I fancy them to back it up with another three points here and a 3 0 victory. 3 0 Watford. Middlesbrough Hull is the next one. Middlesbrough, what a win against Norwich. Probably could have had more, very clinical. Every shot they had went in. As for Hull, very good point against Blackburn next season, I say. Will be very exciting for Hull uh, and Middlesbrough, whichever league they find themselves in. In this one, though, Middlesbrough to get the win 2 0. And the final game to predict is Reading against Luton. Really tricky one, this one. But I can see Luton slipping up here. They will not get the three points, but they'll get one point. Reading, massive point against Burnley to protect their 106 point record. Burnley now cannot uh, surpass that this season, uh, but they're in a battle of their own. And a point here with other results going their way could see them get out of the relegation zone. I think they will. 1-1 draw at home to Luton Town. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please drop a like and subscribe as always. Keep your eye out for a few watch-longs this midweek and following weekend on the channel. Much appreciate your support on the live streams as well. And take care. And I'll see you in the next one very soon, guys. Take care. Good. Bye.